Good morning! How are you? Um, thanks for joining this morning. I've got one of my favorite books. It is The Three Little Super Pigs, Once Upon a Time. Um, it's just a really, really cute version of Three Little Pigs. Um, obviously, superheroes are a huge theme in um, our, our story time and our Pow Gym life. So some of you guys who've been doing classes with me, you might have been there when we did the Super Pigs for our superhero class. That was a really awesome class. I am excited to do it once we are back in action in our studio. And uh, it will be a great way to start back in with our superhero training. So uh, let's jump in. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They dreamed of becoming superheroes. In fact, they were so obsessed that their family house became cluttered with all of their superhero collections. That's a lot of stuff. They're teddy bear, they've got all these boxes and comics and toys, pictures on the wall. Mama Pig is like, what is going on in here? So one day, Mother Pig told her little superheroes it was time to find their own homes. And she waved goodbye. There they go. They walked for hours, crossing dangerous rivers and climbing steep cliffs. Until finally, they arrived at their destination, Fairyland. After an exhausting trip, the pigs decided to set up camp for the night and build their new homes in the morning. It says, wolf roams here, danger. Beware of the big bad wolf. And over here, we've got fairyland, the beanstalk and a castle. A little birdie. Danger, beware of the big bad wolf. While toasting marshmallows in their little superhero costumes, the pigs met a new friend, Little Red Riding Hood. She warned them about the big bad wolf who'd been terrorizing Fairyland. Who else can you see here? So we've got Red, we've got the pigs. What else do we see here? We've got little gingerbread man over here. The wolf had kidnapped Mary's little lamb and stolen sheep's clothing. He'd even been disguising himself as, a, as different grandmas and stolen their clothing. The pigs were warned to be on their guard. The next morning, two of the pigs were desperate to play superheroes with their new friends. So they built their houses as quickly as possible. The first little pig chose straw to build his house and he gathered all he could find. The second little pig chose to build his house out of sticks. He collected them from high and low. And in no time at all, their new homes were ready. Oh, look at that high five. They are. They are happy that they're done, huh? And there is their brother. He's happy too, actually. While his two brothers were having fun, the third little pig was patiently building his house out of bricks. All right, let's see what they've got going on here. There's a lot of stuff happening. So Red and the gingerbread man are jumping rope with the pigs. Got a nice picnic and radio, some other games, bowling, a catch game. And there in the corner, we see the wolf and the sheep. He wanted to make sure it was strong and sturdy, so he worked very hard. Finally, all three houses were ready and the pigs were very happy in their new home. So we've got one made out of straw, one made out of sticks, and this one made out of bricks. 
and the wolf has found them. Let's see what he does next. Finally, all three houses were ready. Oh, we did that one. There we go, there's the inside of the houses. Painting, decorating, and of course, the third little pig is making some food. He's, he's got his coffee, he's got a super bear. He's ready to go. Suddenly, the first little pig was startled by a terrible growl outside his window. It was the big bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he cried. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, squealed the panic pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled the wolf. Whoosh. And with one puff, he blew the house in. The first little pig ran for cover to his brother's house of sticks. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, bellowed the wolf. Not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins, cried the pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff, and he, and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed. And he puffed. And whoosh, he blew the stick house in. Dodging the flying sticks and falling debris, the two little pigs ran as quickly as they could to their brother's house of bricks, narrowly escaping the nasty wolf who was getting very angry and very hungry. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, demanded the wolf. Not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins, the pigs replied. Then I'll huff and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in, screamed the wolf. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. But the brick house would not blow in. The wolf was furious. Suddenly, the pigs were startled by a loud clanging noise from the outside. The cunning big bad wolf had made another plan to climb onto the roof and sneak down the chimney. Two of the pigs started to panic, but the third little pig had a super plan. He had been boiling a pan of water on the fire all along. His book that he's been reading says how to boil a wolf. So as the wolf came hurtling down the chimney, he fell bottom first into the bubbling hot pan. Ooh. With a piercing shriek, he jumped out of the water and straight into the pig's net. The big bad wolf was defeated. The Pigs waved goodbye to the silly old wolf as he was carted off to prison. With Fairyland safe at last, the pigs' dreams of becoming real superheroes had finally come true as the whole town cheered their special new name. Hooray for the three little super pigs! And of course, there's the big bad wolf in jail. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you like this story as much as